example, I don't think you truly know if you've made an iconic photograph when you're making a photograph. Because, you know, most often I feel you feel you've missed most, almost everything. You know, you sort of catch a few things and, you know, a few moments. Um, they're, so, they're so fragmentary in relationship to the kind of enormity of the experience. So I didn't have any images in my head. You know, people look at, for example, a photograph I made that people call the Molotov Man as a gesture that mimics Robert Kappa, a falling soldier. Well, I don't think that image was really etched in my mind when I was making that image. I just don't think it works like that. Um, though there are people who might want to make images that mimic other images. That wasn't really my intention. I just was there. That gesture was captured and, and in fact if you look at a contact sheet it's missed in the black and white because I'm shooting two cameras and I captured in the color and it's you know the, there's a lot of theory that comes later and when people are really embedded in the moment they're just doing the best they can to kind of see things unfold.